welcome back. Welcome back to the vlogs. Welcome back to a new channel name. Welcome back to a fresh start. Something new, something different, something exciting. Not that anything's really gonna change except for the channel name. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like a really strict schedule though and just, just just to keep myself focused. Um, I have a lot, a lot of stuff coming up the next two weeks. Um, not so much like running around busy or trips or anything like that. Hold please. Oh gosh. Okay. Menopause, give me a second. Okay, so not that not that there's any trips or anything planned the next two weeks I just have a lot of stuff that I have to get done the next two weeks because um, Just some things are happening and there's just other things There's just things that I have to get done and I know that's so vague But there's just some things I can't talk about um, For personal reasons safety reasons all that good stuff, but nonetheless Nonetheless, I will be busy cleaning my upstairs and cleaning out the closet in my guest room and making sure that I have, um, there's plenty of room in there because we're trying to get everything cleaned out of there and I got to get a bunch of stuff packed up for, um, cousin Angie. <laughs> Um, because seriously, like we, one month from today, I think it is, we are going to be in Florida. I think it's today. What's today? Today's 12, 13, 14. So tomorrow, month from tomorrow, we leave for, um, Jacksonville. Sorry, you guys. The air is like blowing directly in my face. So, okay, there we go. Hoo -hoo, there we go. Cool it off, girl. Cool it off. Okay. So, <clears throat> I have to get the closet cleaned out in our guest room and bring a bunch of stuff upstairs. I have clothes in there that I either, either I need to literally put on posh and sell, but nothing has been moving or selling on or in my posh closet. So it's like, I don't want to hold on to this stuff if it's not going to sell. I'm probably just going to put whatever's on there on there and the rest of the stuff I'm going to probably take to goodwill because like I said, I don't want it. Uh, lingering around here because it just takes up room because I'm trying to clean out everything I had said that before that I'm gonna try to I'm not gonna try but I'm going to be cleaning out closets and drawers and all kinds of stuff and <clears throat> just making more room uh, because that's just it's just nice to do all that so I'm gonna be cleaning up a lot of stuff so the next two weeks I have to do all that that way I can take boxes to if we could fit them in my car <laughs> um, take boxes to Jacksonville when we go in a month because then I could give all that stuff to Brian's mom and dad. They could take that back to Kankakee for Miss Angie. So, uh, yeah, so that's the deal. Today I actually have a nail appointment at 930, but I'm going to cancel that and uh, make it for Friday if she can because uh, I'm just not feeling a nail day today. I usually have to like mentally prepare myself for sitting down in those chairs for that long. Um, but I'm actually going to run to Lowe's and see if I can pick up some totes, see if I can pick up some boxes. I need to, I need to make up my bed before I leave. So I need to do all of that. Uh, and, uh, Oh gosh, I gotta cool myself down. I picked, I got a few things at, um, well I showed you guys the other day on Instagram, um, some of the new stuff that I picked up while I was gone last week, and I went to like Home Goods and TJ Maxx last week when I was in, um, you know, Connecticut and Rhode Island and all that, and it was funny because I didn't realize that I ended up in Rhode Island when I was looking for the TJ Maxx or the Home Goods. I, I ended up in Connecticut, or I was in Connecticut and ended up in Rhode Island, uh, looking for these places, so I found them, which is great, um, and so I picked up a few, um, new... Ray Dunn things. So this is one that I picked up. This sweet little jar, which is so cute. I absolutely love that. I'm so happy that I got that. And then over here, I got the Hello Mug. I like that one. And then I got this Bake 
dish, which is super cute. I just think it's cute for like even like a cheese dip or something. I love that. So that's really cute. I got that one. And then I picked up, I picked up these uh, little like cheese things, I guess. One says spread, sliver, shave, and slice. So I picked those up. That is the first set of like black Ray Dunn that I got. So I really love that. And then I got that spoon little holder, which I love. I just kind of shoved it right inside of there. Um, then what else did I get? There was something else that I got and I can't remember. Oh, I did order. I'll turn you guys around. Even though I know you guys love looking at that. I know you guys do. Um, so I did get, I've been ordering a bunch of stuff off of Posh too that had for Ray Dunn because uh, I, I didn't realize that you could go on Posh and look for Ray Dunn stuff. I just thought it was like clothing and purses and shoes and stuff. So I never thought that you could go on there for Ray Dunn stuff. So I got on there and got some Ray Dunn stuff. I got a cookie jar. What? I got the cookie jar. It's so cute. I put it up there. So there's where the cookie jar is. It's so cute, absolutely love it. I also got a lemonade pitcher. That should be coming in like today. And then I got, what else did I get? Um, I showed you guys that the other day though. I got the sh baby sugar, very happy about that. There was something else that I got too and I can't remember. I think it was the pour, the pour. Maybe it was this thing. It was this one, this one. So yeah, I got this one. So cute. Uh, I'm really just trying to decorate my tiered tray here and I, oh, sorry, okay. I'm trying to decorate my tiered tray here and I'm just trying to fill it in so I don't really have a lot of stuff going on right now, but I do have lemons. <laughs> this is like the inspiration behind my lemons because my, the name, the new title change because I love lemons and uh, I just kind of thought it would be kind of cute just to change it up and do something different. So life and lemons it is. And I really, I'll sit down and tell you guys a little bit more about why I chose life and lemons. Basically it's because it's life. Life is life. And sometimes we get thrown lemons. And what do you do with lemons? You make lemonade. You make the best of it. And um, my life has been... I have been thrown a lot of lemons in my life. Not in my, my not in, I shouldn't say in my life because I've had a really, really good life. I would just say during my like divorce from my, my kid's dad, um, that whole like 10 years of hell, 10 years of hell with that whole ordeal um, was all about lemons. And I, it was sour. I was dealt just some pretty bad stuff and I don't ever talk about that stuff because I always like to try to keep my channel very, very positive because I don't like negative energy because it just, it just brings you down. It just gets you really like upset and I don't like that. So I like to stay positive and I like happy energy and all that good stuff. Well, I'm also going through menopause <laughs> and I feel like menopause is such a lemon curve in your life and I thought that Angie in Wonderland was just kind of getting a little stagnant. It was just a little deflated. I wasn't feeling it with Angie in Wonderland anymore. I'm a woman in my mid to late 40s. <laughs> I think like late 40s is 46, 47, 48, right? Um, so I'm, an, I'm a woman in my mid 40s and uh, it just, Angie and Wonderland just seemed so, I don't know, childlike. Not, yeah, kind of, sort of, but no. You guys get it. I thought it was cute. It worked. But it's just not going to work for the future of what I, I want to do for my channel. And not that anything's really changing with my channel. Um, except for the fact that I'm going through menopause and you guys are going to have to deal with that. <laughs> and I'm just saying that because 
Hell, ladies, this is just brutal. So I have to carry like fans with me in rotation. I have this fan, I have another fan just like this, and I have my little black fan that I got from Target a couple weeks ago. I keep those like in rotation. I keep one with me everywhere I go. And I get a comment everywhere I go as well. When I have them sitting on, like on the table where I'm at or whatever, everybody's like, that is brilliant. That is such a good idea. I'm like, I could sell these. If I had them like in my purse at that moment, I could probably sell them for like 20 bucks a pop. I could. So, um, anyway, so that's pretty much the reason why I'll, again, I'll sit down and, and do another, like, real, uh, like an introductory video or whatever about the change and, you know, stuff like that. So, anyhow, my appointment is not until 9.30, so I think I'm going to, can I know I'm canceling it, but I, uh, I hate to have to sit, sit there for 30 minutes just to wait for her just to tell her that I'm going to cancel it. I should have thought about this yesterday and called and canceled yesterday, but I didn't. My brain was scrambled yesterday. I was working on my new um, stuff for my channel, and I was just kind of like happy that it was Monday and I was home sitting on my couch and not, not gone because last week we were gone all week. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to get the rest of my stuff on my jewelry, my necklace, all that good stuff. And I don't know, the temperature outside, I have shorts on. And the temperature was like 60. So I don't know if it's going to be cold. Oh, I also, did I say I wanted to go to Lowe's? I told you guys that, right? Yeah, let me go because, see, I'm just going to keep repeating myself. Bye. Alrighty, so I was able to cancel my appointment. Um, it was like, it's like 921 right now and they had the door open. So I just walked right in there. The girl who normally is there does my nails and I just said, hey, can I cancel for today? I need to make it for Friday. Good deal. So Friday morning, I'll be back here getting my nails done. I'm happy about that. I, ooh, I'm big. Okay, I'm sure, wait, <laughs> now I'm like confused. Ah, uh, let's see, I'm sure I have nothing going on Friday. Absolutely nothing, so we're good. <laughs> like, oh my God. Um, and so now I'm actually gonna head to Starbucks really quick. I am not getting a coffee though. Oh, it is chillier outside. No, I'm not getting a coffee. I will be getting those um, strawberry refreshers are so good. Uh, my niece actually ordered one when I was with her. I don't know, months ago, maybe like last year, months ago. And uh, I tried it and it was really good. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about these. So, and then when I was in uh, Connecticut last week and Brian and I were walking around Foxwoods, we stopped up at the Starbucks really quick and I got one of those. And uh, it was so good. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so like refreshing. <laughs> That's why they're called strawberry refreshers. <laughs> So, anyway, so I think I'm going to step off and get one of those. And then um, I am, hello, my name is Angie, and I am addicted to Ray Dunn stuff. So, I'm actually going to run into TJ Maxx since it's like right next to Lowe's anyway. I am going to run into TJ Maxx and see if they have anything new um, as far as Ray Dunn stuff. And then I'm gonna go into Lowe's because I also wanna get some hanging baskets. Um, it is now time for us to get some flowers and stuff. Uh, we had put this put flowers off because we knew we were gonna be gone all last week and knew we wouldn't be able to water them and they would die. So um, now is our time to like start getting flowers and planting flowers and all that good stuff. So I am gonna get a few hanging baskets and maybe, maybe, maybe some flowers to plant. I don't know yet. Um, Brian and I usually kind of come and do that on the weekend and then when we get home we start planting everything so usually his mom does all that for us and um, when they were here a couple of weeks ago helping us with the deck that's pretty much what she wanted to do too but she knew that we couldn't because we were going to be gone and yeah so I'm gonna stop talking because if I don't I'm just gonna keep rambling so yeah let's go order a strawberry refresher and let's go walk ourselves around TJ Maxx and I promise I promise I'm trying to do my best to promise to remember to pick up my camera when I go into TJ Maxx <gasps> that's right I forgot oh my god the Hobby Lobby's have a huge sale too oh <laughs> must refrain must refrain okay just TJ Maxx I'm just going to TJ Maxx only TJ Maxx. That's it. Just okay. Bye. All right, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. 
I got it. This is like the best um, little drink that you can get at Starbucks besides my coffee. Um, this is so good. So if you guys ever at Starbucks and you guys want something different and something new, try a strawberry refresher. It is thebomb.com. Alrighty, so they still don't have anything like new. I am not feeling anything here. I don't really care for the tools one. I really just don't. Dang it. Well, that stinks. Nothing, 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 nothing. Hmm, that's a bummer. Oh, they do have this pour though. They have that one. That's nice. They have those ones, which I have. Okay, so they got nothing. Nothing. A lot of their hanging baskets are kind of picked through. So I'm like, hmm, these aren't great. But these are pretty. And I know that they're not um, hanging baskets. But all of this stuff is so pretty. I just don't know what to get. Oh, are there hanging baskets? Yeah, not so great. I'm gonna go look out front and see if they have anything else. I don't have very uh, strong willpower. All of these, I'm at Hobby Lobby by the way, all of these are $1.99. And I think these are great for um, stocking stuffers or gifts. So I have these right here for gifts so far for my nieces. These are cute for $1.99. These are a great price, you guys. I spy with my little eye freaking stockings. What the heck, people? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I also spotted fall on the other side. Holy crap unreal alrighty so Lowe's didn't have anything good as far as like hanging baskets were concerned did that make any sense anyway um, and then you know don't mind me because I stopped off at a Hobby Lobby and whatever just it's fine we won't discuss that right now but I did um, pick up some furniture while I was there because I have no willpower Kind of, sort of. No, the table that we have next to our couch where Brian sits all of his stuff on, he, like, complains about that table all the time. Like, it's too small. So, yeah, I went ahead and bought a new table for that, that area. So, um, I'll show you guys all of that when I get home. I'm going to actually stop off at this other flower place. That's, like, a big, huge flower place here in town. And I'm going to check to see. Ooh, you know what? I didn't change that battery. Hold, please. Alrighty guys, so I am back from running around like a crazy lady. No, I was just shopping. That's crazy, right? Um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got. I'm gonna put the table, it's already together. Um, so I'm just gonna remove the one that's by the chair, by the couch, and then replace it with the new one. And I'll show you guys that. Um, I wanted to show you guys though what I picked up while I was out. I did go to another TJ Maxx, so I did pick up some things there, Ray Dunn wise, and two things. Okay, all right, so how cute is this lemon water bottle? Okay, super cute, found this at TJ Maxx, $5.99, absolutely loved it. Of course, had to have it because of the lemons. And then I picked up this towel because I have a fascination with beach towels and it's that time of year. So I got a yellow and white pretty little beach towel. And then these are the ones, the Ray Dunn plates that I found. These are the glass ones. These ones say eat and those ones say yum. Uh, these were on clearance for $12. So that's why I pretty much got those because I think they're regular either $14.99 or $16.99. So they were both uh, on clearance for $12. So I picked those up. And now I'm going to go ahead and get this um, table adjusted and then I'll take you guys outside and show you guys. Oh, I got a goat. He is so cute. 
I am so excited about my goat. I've been wanting a goat for the longest time, and I found one at the flower shop that I was at, um, plus two hanging baskets, which I hung those up already, and I'm gonna take you guys out there in just a second and show you, plus my goat, I'm gonna get this table set up first. I'll be back in just a second. So I already moved that out of the way. But anyway, this is what the table looks like right here, right now. Brian hates it because it's just so, it's narrow. It's really, really narrow and he doesn't have a lot of room to put things. Of course, I always have it very organized. Of course, I didn't do it this morning, but I always have this, you know, turned that way. I have this bowl here and I have all his little things that he uses throughout the night, like in the bowl. And then of course, then right here. Now I'm going to move all this stuff and I'm going to replace it with the big one. Alrighty, so there you have it. There's the new table. I like it. I think it's just a little bit too tall. So I'm going to see like if he can do something about that. Um, but and he may not like it this tall either. I was hoping it to be just a little bit shorter because it's like when you sit down, it's like it, you know, it's like right here. It's not like level. But anyway, so that's the that's the new table for now. We'll see if he likes it. If he does, then we'll keep it. And I'm gonna see if he can try to maybe like shave down some of the legs on there. And um, if not, then I'll take it back and try to find a shorter one. But I do like it in here. I think it looks great. It's very farmhousey, and I think it matches really, really well with all of the decor. It matches really well with that thing right there. So anyway, all right, let me get the rest of my stuff out and I'll show you what I got. Alrighty, so I also picked up these, which I believe are called olive baskets. Please, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. These are regular $14.99, and they were on sale at Hobby Lobby for $3.74. So I picked up two of them, if I can get them off. Hold on just a sec. them apart okay and then so I picked up two of those and then I picked up these two things like I showed you guys while I was there um, for my nieces for Christmas so these will probably be part of their Christmas right here so I'll put those away but yeah I think I would have put these like outside on the front porch and try to find like a plant to put inside of here I think this will work out really really well because they've got already got holes in them for draining so yeah I'm gonna put those out there and then I'm gonna show you guys my goat and my flowers Alrighty, so here is where I hung up my baskets. We actually have to put them in different baskets, but for now I just have them hanging here. And then I have the other one hanging right here. And I actually have to get um, some more hooks because it's blocking my wind chime. So that's gonna go on the other side. So, or maybe even on this side. But anyway, there's my hanging baskets. I need to put all my cushions out now too because it's gonna be such a nice week. So yeah, now let's go check out my goat. He's so cute. So there are the two olive buckets. I'm gonna put them right there and I think I'm just gonna put some plants in there. That way I can see them through the door. So that's what I'm gonna do there. I did get this rug. I actually wanna put another rug like on top of it because that just looks really cute. So those are gonna sit there for now until I can find plants. And then over here is my goat. Look at how cute she is. I named her Penelope. Isn't she the cutest little goat? I love her. She was $25 at the little, um, flower place and i have been looking for a goat for so long because my neighbors actually have one over there beside their house and it always blows over so i always have to text her and tell her that her goat fainted so anyway it's just been a running joke and i always said that i'm gonna get a goat too so i did and there she is there she sits her name is penelope and she was probably going to be in a lot of vlogs because i don't want to leave her out she's too darn cute I'm so happy about it. I actually saw a goat like several weeks ago and it was like 80 bucks. I'm like, I'm not spending $80 on a goat. That one was, sorry, the lighting. That one was only 25. So, alrighty. So now I've got to get some stuff done. Oh, another exciting thing has happened. My new Ray Dunn thing came in. Let me open this up. Oh, hiccup. Let me open this up and show you guys my new Ray Dunn thing. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my new lemonade pitcher. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited about it. It makes me very, very happy. Uh, 
yeah, I think I, I paid 25 for it on Posh. So I think that's a great deal. All right, now to get busy around the house. Alrighty guys, so I am outside again. So gorgeous outside. And I am going to put all of my cushions on my chairs over there. And the cushions are over here in this little, like, what do you think? What do you call that little thing? I don't know. Anyway, that's where they're at. So I'm gonna get those out and then I'm gonna put, ooh, crooked. And then I'm gonna put them all on my chairs. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this is what I did with my lemonade pitcher. Um, I actually added the sweet and the pour next to it. I just kind of think it's cute and added some lemons here. I was thinking about putting something in there, but I, I don't know. I'm thinking I might just leave it empty because it just kind of looks cute right here. But I don't know. What do you guys think? And then I added like these like lemon branches inside of there. I did order, I think, two more of these. I got these off of Amazon, and you guys can find these in my Amazon link, which is below, and uh, follow it over to like home decor and stuff like that. But anyway, so yeah, these are really cute. They come in like a nice little bushel uh, for like 22 bucks, and I just thought they were really cute, and they fit inside of here really perfectly. I did cut them down a little bit because they were a little bit long, so I did cut them down so it they kind of like fit nicely, but. And then I added um, these little like lemons inside of here. And yeah, and then of course I have my lemons right here as well for that little container and then some lemons right there. And I think, um, oh yeah, I did work on my mantle just a little bit today too. I've been trying to really figure this out. I took those two like window things down. Let me turn this down. I took those two like church windows down I just didn't really care for those. And so I just, um, what I picked up today uh, was this this jar. I picked this up today at Hobby Lobby because it was like $3. And then I picked up some more lambs here and I just kind of added it in there. I think maybe I'll wrap a um, like bead around here, one of those like wooden beads when I find one or I'll make one. I added some lemons right here just a little planter there i don't have anything right here right now i did order something on etsy so maybe when that comes in it'll fit right there and just a little bird and then these little like galvanized 10 like lemon things i don't know what you want to call those but anyway i just think they're cute there was two of them those also came from etsy along with the lemons all these lemons came from etsy and and these as well um so no i take that back these did not come from etsy those came from hobby lobby a while ago but these came from etsy um anyway so this is kind of what i have right here for now um it's just kind of springy and it just nice and fresh so I, again I just need something like right here but I think that thing that I ordered from Etsy will fit perfectly right there and then again I took those two things down and I actually have them sitting there right now so I can go put those away but it's kind of what that looks like for right now yeah you know not exactly a fan of it right now just kind of like not feeling it but uh, maybe it'll grow on me kind of like this table it's kind of growing on me. It's a little tall, but I think we could fix that. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so I can get this up and edited. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. I hope that you guys do like the new name of Life and Lemons. I think it's going to be a perfect fit for me and for this channel and for the future of this channel. So go ahead and give it a subscribe if you haven't. Welcome 